Blue Angel versus Playmaker. Trickstars versus Cybers. If you didn't watch the Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrain series, well, Blue Angel got screwed over a lot. Wielding a deck that should have dominated in the Speed Duel format, instead, well, she lost a lot. Today, I want to take a look at her first big duel and see, with the deck that she had, could the outcome of this duel have changed if she just played slightly different? So, with all that out of the way, let's jump into the duel. The speed duel begins and Blue Angel goes first. I feel like this is important to mention. If you don't know what a speed duel is, the only difference between that and a normal duel is it's in a virtual world. You're on a hoverboard. There's three monster zones. There's three spine trap zones. There's no main phase two. And everyone has a skill unique to them. It's basically an effect that you can use anytime in the duel when a certain criteria is met. Since this is a speed duel, her opening hand consists of only four cards. And these are Trickstar Light Stage, Trickstar Candina, Trickstar Licorice, and Trickstar Vision. She starts by activating her field spell, Trickstar Light Stage. When activated, it allows her to add one Trickstar monster from her deck straight to her hand. She adds Trickstar Lilybell. Since Lilybell was added to the hand via a card effect, its effect lets it special summon itself to the field. Now, Blue Angel normal summons her Trickstar Candina. When normal summoned, its effect lets her add any Trickstar card from her deck to her hand. She adds Trickstar Reincarnation. Blue Angel activates the effect of her Trickstar Licorice in hand. By bouncing one Trickstar monster on her field back to the hand, she can summon it to the field. She then activates her spell Trickstar Vision, which lets her special summon one Trickstar monster from her hand, however its attack is halved and its effects are negated. She summons back her Candina. The final effect of Trickstar Vision then kicks in. After its effect was used, both players draw a card. Blue Angel draws Trickstar Scatter, while Playmaker draws Bitron. Since a card was added to Playmaker's hand, the effect of Lycoris now activates. Now, for the rest of this duel, as long as Lycoris is on the field, whenever a card is added to Playmaker's hand, Lycoris will deal 200 damage. Following this, Blue Angel's field spell's second effect then activates. Also, for the rest of this duel, as long as this field spell is on the field, whenever a Trickstar monster deals battle or effect damage, Light Stage will deal an additional 200. With all the pieces set, Blue Angel sends her Lily Belt and Candina to the grave to Link Summon, her Link to Trickstar Holly Angel. Real quick, because I know some of you aren't up to date with the most modern rules in Yu-Gi-Oh! A Link monster is just another type of extra deck monster. Whatever its Link number is, if it's a Link 3 monster, a Link 4, Link 2, that's just how many monsters you need to send from the field to the grave to summon that monster. You can cheese this a little bit. If I have a Link 2 monster on the field, it counts as two monsters, but that's pretty much all you need to know. Except for extra deck monsters need to be summoned into the extra monster zone, which is that new zone you see. And if you want to summon more extra deck monsters, they've got to go to zones that the Link monster points to. Okay? Okay. While Holly Angel is on the field, each time a Trickstar monster is summoned to a zone it points to, she will deal 200 damage. Also, Trickstar monsters she points to cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Also, also, if the opponent takes damage by a Trickstar monster's effect, Holly Angel will gain attack equal to the damage until the end of the turn. All set up, Blue Angel ends her turn by setting Trickstar Reincarnation and Trickstar Scatter face down. An impressive first turn on paper, except there was a much simpler play she could have done that would have won the duel as soon as Playmaker started his turn. But how, you ask? Well, this is what she should have done. Assuming she plays at least two copies of Trickstar Licorice, she should have activated her light stage, add Licorice. Normal summon Candina, add Trickstar Reincarnation. Activate both Licorice's effects in hand, returning Candina to summon both. Activate Trickstar Vision, resummon Candina. The opponent gets to draw a card. The opponent will take 800 damage. Finally, she sets Trickstar Reincarnation face down and ends her turn. Yusaku's turn begins. He draws. He takes another 800 damage. The standby phase occurs, and Blue Angel immediately activates Trickstar Reincarnation. Yusaku banishes the six cards in his hand. 200 times six is 1200. 
1200 damage times two, since there's two Lacoruses, is 2400 damage. Plus he'll take 200 damage twice from the field spell, meaning Playmaker loses the duel. Now the question then becomes, why didn't she do this? Well, that's very simple. She's not the main character. It's a shame it has to be this way because obviously, like we said earlier, the Trickstar deck is very strong. So, yeah, unfortunate really. Never mind. It's Playmaker's turn and he draws. Due to adding a card to his hand, he takes 200 damage from the chorus, followed by another 200 from Light Stage. Since Playmaker took damage by a Trickstar monster effect, Holy Angel's attack increases by the same amount. Playmaker's opening hand consists of Draconet, Bitron and four mysterious cards that are about to be banished, so it doesn't really matter. Playmaker normal summons Draconet, and when Draconet is summoned, it special summons a level 2 or lower normal monster from his deck into defense. He summons Bitron. He then sends his Bitron to the grave to Link Summon, his Link 1, Link Spider. This monster can only be summoned by sending a normal monster to the grave. He activates its effect. This allows him to special summon a level 4 or lower normal monster in his hand to a zone that it points to. He summons another Bitron. Playmaker then sends his Draconet and Bitron to the grave to Link Summon, his Link 2, Link Bumper. But he's not done yet. He then sends his Link 1 Link Spider and the Link 2 Link Bumper to Link Summon, his Link 3 Ace Monster, Decode Talker. Decode Talker specifically requires effect monsters, so that's why he couldn't use his normal monster for the summon of this, in case you were wondering. Playmaker enters the battle phase. He attacks Holy Angel. However, Blue Angel activates her set, Trickstar Reincarnation. This forces Playmaker to banish his entire hand and then draw the same amount he banished. He gets Security Block, Salvagent Driver, Cynet Universe, and Frontline Disturbance. Since four cards were added to Playmaker's hand, he takes 800 damage via Lachorus's effect, and then a further 200 more from Trickstar Light Stage. Since effect damage was dealt, Holy Angel's attack increases in unison. Playmaker's Deco Talker is about to be destroyed by the battle. Luckily, he activates his quick play spell, Security Block, which prevents his monster from being destroyed in battle and reduces any battle damage he would take to zero. However, since the Trickstar monster battled, Blue Angel activates her final trap, Trickstar Scatter. This lets her destroy a monster Playmaker controls. She destroys Deco Talker. However, Playmaker has one final move. Since a Cyburst type Link monster was destroyed, he can special summon his Salvagent Driver from his hand. Since there is no main phase two in Speed Duels, Playmaker must end his turn here. It's back to Blue Angel and the penultimate turn of the duel. Hey, they're not called speed duels for nothing. She draws and gets the corrupted card, Dark Angel. Don't worry about this card too much. It's just some out of duel shenanigans kind of thing. Basically, there's a virus in it, and if she plays this card, she'll get stuck in the virtual world. But Playmaker will help her out in this duel, so it's fine. Blue Angel activates the effect of her Trickstar reincarnation in the grave. By banishing it, she can special summon a Trickstar monster in her grave. She summons back her Lily Bell. Blue Angel enters her battle phase and attacks with Lily Bell. Due to its effect, it can attack directly. And so, Playmaker takes 800 direct damage, followed by 200 more from Trickstar Light Stage. Since Lily Bell dealt damage, her second effect kicks in. This allows Blue Angel to add a Trickstar in her grave back to her hand. She adds back Trickstar Candina. Since Salvagent Driver is too strong and there is no main phase two, with no further plays, Blue Angel ends her turn. Now, unfortunately, I don't know what Blue Angel has in her extra deck at this point in the series. However, while the extra deck of a Trickstar deck is nothing that impressive, there are some decent cards that she could have got out that would have helped her this turn. The big two for me personally would have been a Trickstar Debaradis or a Trickstar Bella Madonna. However, I don't think she had those at this point, but it's just one of those things. It's Playmaker's turn, and the final turn of the duel. He draws and gets Defect Compiler. I'm going to apologize in advance for this turn. This is going to be a very convoluted turn. I'm going to use Defect Counter and Disturbance Counter a lot. It's going to be confusing, but bear with me. Since Playmaker drew, Trickstar Lycoris deals 200 damage, which is followed by Trickstar Light Stage's damage. Due to damage, Holy Angel's attack increases. Playmaker Normal summons Defect Compiler. Its effect is once per turn, if you would take damage from an opponent's card effect, 
place one defect counter on this card instead, with a maximum of one. Also, once per turn, quick effect, you can remove one defect counter from this card, target one Cyburst monster you control, it gains 800 attack until the end of the turn. With this in mind, Playmaker activates the effect of his Salvagent Driver. By discarding a spell, he can summon a Cyburst monster from his grave back to the field. However, that monster cannot attack directly. He summons back his Link 2 Link Bumper. Now, since Playmaker's life points are less than 1000, he can activate his unique skill, Storm Access. His skill allows him to add a new Cyburst Link monster at random to his extra deck. The card he acquires is Encode Talker. He immediately summons this new Link 3 monster by sending his Salvagent Driver along with the Link 2 Link Bumper to the grave. We'll get to what this monster can do when the time comes, but for now Playmaker has entered his battle phase and he's attacking. He uses his Defect Compiler to attack Blue Angel's Trickstar Lilybell. As he does this, he plays the Quick Play spell Frontline Disturbance. This card's effect is target one level 4 or lower monster your opponent controls. If it leaves the field, place a Disturbance counter on one face-up monster you control, and if you do, it gains this effect. If this card battles, you can remove one Disturbance counter from that card, target one face-up monster your opponent controls, it loses attack equal to the combined defense of all face-up defense position monsters your opponent currently controls. As Playmaker targets Lily Bell, Blue Angel now decides to use her quick play skill, Trickstar Trick. Now, by discarding one Trickstar card in her hand, she can force the opponent to draw cards until he has three cards in his hand. However, at the end of the turn, they must banish cards from their hand for each Trickstar monster in Blue Angel's graveyard. Playmaker draws three new cards. These three cards will not be revealed, so we don't know what they are, but it doesn't really matter. Playmaker has everything already on the field that he needs to win. Now, this is the point where Playmaker would take 800 damage and lose the duel. However, he uses the effect of his Defect Compiler. Instead of taking effect damage, he puts a Defect Counter on one of his own monsters. Some of you might be asking, why didn't Blue Angel use this effect a little bit earlier? Clearly, she was waiting for Playmaker to deplete his hand to zero so she could do the maximum amount of damage. It's just a shame that the first monster he summoned was a card that counters effect damage. Feeling defeat approaching, the corrupted card given to Blue Angel takes over. She activates its effect. Since Blue Angel's fairy type monster was targeted for an attack, she can tribute that monster by sending Dark Angel to the grave. She can then target another monster she controls to change the attack target to. Then that new target gains attack equal to the original attack of the tributed monster. However, since Lily Bell has left the field, the effect of Frontline Disturbance activates. A Disturbance counter is now placed on a monster Playmaker controls. He chooses his Encode Talker. Since Encode is pointing to a monster he controls that is battling that has lower attack than the monster it's battling, he can make that monster be unable to be destroyed by battle. He can also make the battle damage zero. Then, after damage calculation, this card will gain attack equal to the attack of that battled opponent's monster. Finally, Playmaker activates the second effect of his Defect Compiler. By removing the Defect Counter on it, he can increase Encode Talker's attack by 800. Enko Talker attacks Holly Angel. The effect of the Disturbance counter activates. By removing it from Enko Talker, Holly Angel loses attack equal to the defense of her defense position monsters. And with this, Holly Angel is destroyed, and Blue Angel loses all her life points. Playmaker wins. That was a lot of stuff packed into a single turn. But what did we learn from all this? Well, yes. Blue Angel should have won this duel. In fact, there was a couple of different ways that I didn't mention that she could have won. I mentioned a card called Trickstar Devaradis. Its effect is whenever your opponent normal or special summons a monster, you can deal 200 damage. Imagine having that on the field with a Trickstar Lycoris. He draws a card, he takes 200 damage, 200 damage from the field spell. He summons a monster that's 200 damage and another 200 damage again. These Link decks uh, summon a lot. So that would have been the perfect monster to get out. Uh, obviously, he's only got 1800 attack. But, I don't know, could have been good. But, other than that, thank you all for watching. Catch you later. Bye, everyone.